Hey stargazers, welcome back. My name is Nick, and I want to look at the stars with you. Let's begin looking about an hour after sunset tonight towards the southwest. A beautiful view here of Taurus the Bull, and if you look... Wait, what? Hang on. What the f***? What's that? Are you hearing that too? It's some kind of a signal. Yeah. According to my calculations, it's coming from outer space. <gasps> a signal from another world? Wow! Hello? Lucien, it's Chris and Meredith. Are you busy right now? Um... Uh... Something scary is happening. Is this like when you guys thought the Captain Lovell statue was a ghost? No, that was terrifying. But no, look out your window. Whoa. The Zodiac constellations are in trouble and they need our help. Maybe they've been sending out the signal this whole time. Like a distress beacon. Okay, here's what I want to know. What kind of a sick and twisted monster could do this to constellations? Our twinkly friends in the sky. Space Chupacabra? <gasps> Space Bigfoot! Yeah. Why don't I do some research for you on that? Great idea. Meredith, we should look for the space monster. Yes, we'll get to the bottom of it like the gang on Scooby-Doo or Mulder and Scully from the X-Files. Mulder and Scully. Perfect. Meet me at the Captain Level Ghost Statue in five. See you there. All right, well, if you're looking for a way to really convince your friends and loved ones that you spend way too much time under the night sky, take a look at this. You can use the Big Dipper's handle, this arc that it forms, and all you have to do is extend that arc all the way to the star, arc... Arcturus, which is currently moving around the night sky and won't stay still. What is going on here?
Good morning, it's your birthday. You wake up full of hope. One of the first things you always do is check your horoscope. But have you ever wondered how you really got your sign? For us to learn about it, we will have to go back in time. Ancient folks looked up and tracked a path across the sky, where the sun, the moon, and the planets pass us by. Behind these things, there lie the stars, the different constellations. There were twelve that lie upon this path, according to Western civilization. What do you mean? Well, those ancient folks from back in time Track the sun's smooth arc on its way through constellations far and wide Whichever one was behind the sun on the first day of your life Became the constellation associated with your sign the zodiac, it's where you'll find your sign So don't try to look at it on your birthday or the sun could burn your eyes Wait, I'm confused. About what? For them to know what's behind the sun was there some kind of trick? That's a real good question. I think it's time we ask our good friend Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. What am I doing here? I'm from a completely different YouTube series. Did you happen to hear the song we've been singing so far? We have a question. Yeah, duh. I'm always watching. Well, how do ancient people know which zodiac sign was behind the sun on my birthday? Folks have tracked the positions of everything in the sky For thousands and thousands of years, every day and every night And just before the sun comes up, you can still see some constellations Because of that, you know what comes next in the zodiac rotation The zodiac, it's where you'll find your sign it's called the path of the ecliptic, where the zodiac forms a line. Next time it's your birthday and you want to see your sign, you'll have to wait at least a few weeks or the sun will burn your eyes. Thanks, Thanks Nick. Nick. Hey, stargazers, that was so much fun. Hey, let's make this a regular thing, huh? I've got a great idea for a sketch about a parking lot. Bye. Bye. Wait, where are you going? His voice is so dreamy. Is it okay to say that? I won't tell him. Well, he is always watching. So. Oh, right. Well, happy birthday, Chris. I love Bye. you. Bye. Oh. Oh. I. Uh. Uh. I guess I thought you were gonna be Scully. Well, Chris, some of my best friends are literally aliens, so <laughs> I thought you would be Scully. This is fine. We can, we can work with this. Yeah, okay. Well, Scully never really finds the monster anyway, right? Exactly. Our zodiac constellations are disappearing. Someone or something is responsible. Who or what are they? Are they part of some interplanetary government conspiracy? They'll never get away with it. took you so long. Who are you? What do you know about the missing zodiac constellations? I know what you know. Stars collapse, explode, burn out. Supernovas? Please. You'd see one in a hundred years in a typical galaxy? Yeah. Whole constellations don't just disappear. No. It would take a powerful force or a determined adversary to make so many stars go dark at once. What are you hiding? Who are you protecting? I told you. I know what you know, Mr. Mulders. Wait, Mr. Misters Mulder? God, English is such a stupid language. Don't change the subject! Show yourself. Ugh. Lucianne? Who did you think you were talking to? You're in the science cave? So, uh... 
I guess this means you haven't found the uh, the zo the zodiac star murdery guy. Nope. Well, what about your research? Did you find anything? Yeah, no. I've been just watching TikTok the whole time. Maybe we should call it a night. Said like Mulder always says, "Truth will still be out there tomorrow." Mulder doesn't say that. Come in. Thank you for seeing me. Sit down. What brings you here? I've just um, been going through a rough time lately, you know. My job is kind of on the rocks and I actually haven't spoken to my wife for a year. I know. Oh, okay. What is your birthday? August 27th. And what is your sign? Virgo. Wrong! Hmm? You are a Leo. Hmm? I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm a Virgo. Well, have you ever heard of a little something called Procession? Uh, maybe? Okay, well, let me enlighten you. So, we all know that the Earth spins on its axis every 24 hours, giving us our night and day, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also know that it orbits around the Sun every 365 days, giving us our year. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. But did you also know that over the course of 26,000 years, the Earth also experiences precession? Where, as it spins on its axis, its poles point at different places in the sky. It's like a spinning top wobbling back and forth, like this. Oh, this isn't working. This demonstration doesn't look no good. It's no good. Uh, okay. So, back in the day when the Babylonians determined the zodiac, the sun appeared to be passing through Virgo on your day of birth. But today, due to procession, it's passing through Leo. And because I use this very accurate method of determining the zodiac, my predictions always come true. Great, so... You are a Leo. You are a Leo. Okay, I'm a Leo. Huh? Now that you've acknowledged your truth, we may proceed. Looks like you are going to get a good deal on a new car. What? That's it? That's what the cards are telling me here. Good, good deal on a new car. Okay, what, what kind of deal? Doesn't say, but should be pretty good. Um, what about like my job or my wife, the things I came here for, you know? Mm, I, I, nothing, sorry. But hey, do you need a new car? No, I just bought one in the fall. Well, it's not new, it's used, but... Okay, well, you could be kind of cool. Okay, this was such a waste of money. Wait, wait. I'm seeing, like, mmm, 5%. 5% of what? I don't know, but it could have something to do with the new car. That's pretty cool. It's not cool. It's, it's vague and, and useless information. Oh, well, I think it's pretty cool. I think... You're going to get a good deal in the car. It's going to be pretty cool. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, goodbye. Okay, you. <sighs> Hello? Congratulations, Brian. You just won 5% of a car. That must be what she was talking about. This is from Chad Adler in Chicago. Hey, Zeke. Your channel is sick. My uncle's planetarium has hella old stuff you might be into. If you're ever in town, you should swing by for a tour. We could do some cross promo. It'd be lit. Your bro, 
Chad. Thank you for your comment, Chad. I'll be in touch. Chad. Stars, who are they? What do they eat? And are they really like us? Today, we're gonna talk with some of the stars that anyone can see. That's right, the constellations. Now you've probably heard of some of these names. Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio. Yeah, none of them were available. <laughs> so tonight, we're here to talk with some of the stars that might not be household names, but these mystery stars are the real bad boys of the night sky. Our first guest tonight is one big baddie, the largest of the 88 official constellations. Its head butts up against Libra and its tail touches Cancer. Now you might not know their name, but no one bosses this aquatic snake around. Make way for Hydra. If you think Hydra's a surprise, you're going to be shocked at who's showing their face here tonight for the first time. With almost no bright stars and no deep sky objects of interest of any kind and not even really a cool mythological creature, no, they're, they're just a cup. Bring out Crater! Next up, he's got the fourth brightest star in the night sky, but you've never heard his name. Give it up for mysterious herdsman bo bo booties Last but not least, we have a latecomer to the Constellation game. From Chicago's Night Sky exhibit at the Adler Planetarium, we have a constellation that was drawn by a guest. Aww. Now, they might not have official constellation status or actually exist at all, but they're near and dear to our hearts. Make way for cool grandma. So all of you are made up of stars that are visible from the night sky here on Earth but some of you feel not so appreciated. Why is that? Hey, well, sure, Dinky. I mean, uh, you gotta understand, there's 88 official constellations in the night sky, all right? There's 88 of us. People are looking at our boundaries to figure out where they are sometimes, so we're important, you know? And I got a big bright star in me, so people are looking at me all the time. It's just, I guess, yo, know, I feel like they don't really see well, me. Thanks for sharing that, Boaties. That was really powerful, my Would dude. you like a hard candy? Crater, it looks like you have something to say about what Booties just shared. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Could you say more? I mean, at least people are looking at booties, you know? It's like, they might not know his name, but he has that really bright star, Arcturus. So when people are looking up in the night sky, it's like booties, booties, booties. You know what I mean? So I really just feel like you haven't unpacked your package. <laughs> I know who okay. I am. Okay. Boo hoo. Everybody wants booty. You'll take that bitch. Would you like a hard candy? Okay, okay. Break it up. Let's hear from some of our other guests. Hydra, how does it feel to be so large and yet so invisible? Well, Dinky, back in the days of Greek myth, I was terrifying. A deadly monster. Hercules was always trying to cut my heads off. And you know, they say there's no such thing as bad publicity, but constantly trying to regrow your own heads got really old. So, when people kind of forgot about me, at first I was like, oh, sweet, some piece of quiet. And then what happened? Well, then people just, they just forgot me. They don't even ask where. <laughs> For crying out loud. Nobody asks where. Wow, this is a cry fest and I'm really uncomfortable. Where is Hydra? 
I'm right here. Oh, would you like a hard candy? Hey, I have something to say. Yes, Crater, you have the floor. I'm sick of defining my life in terms of what those more famous Zodiac constellations are doing. And I'm sick of this Northern Hemisphere constellation hegemony. You think you have it so bad, but you won't even unionize. We could be powerful together, but you keep hoping those Zodiac constellations will take you in. Is that true? <laughs> I'm just naturally close to Libra and Cancer. It's not my fault. You know, I got my bright star and I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. I shouldn't have to pay you. What you kind know. of herdsman crosses a picket line? Don't you say that in front of my kid. Would you like a hard candy? Hey, Grandma, you're not even a real constant. Well, that's all the time we have tonight, folks. I'm much too uncomfortable to hold it together any longer. Join us next week when we'll meet the people behind the movement to rename your anus. Ophiuchus's toes are dipping in with the zodiacs. He's definitely there along the sun, moon, and planet tracks. But nobody ever thinks of him when they check their horoscope. So we wrote this little song to honor his magical little toes. Look at those toes. Look at those toes. Look, Look at those, those magical, magical, mystical, spiritual toes. toes. Hey, friends. All right, so listen, my horoscope said to avoid delivering bad news today, but I've been watching the sky for a while, and I'm pretty sure that all the stars are gone. What? All of them? I mean, that seems bad. I'm not an astrologer, but I I'm would... not an astrologer either, and that definitely is bad. Is that why the lights are out? No, no, no. The stars don't have anything to do with the power grid. Hey, guys. Chadler. So, I have good news. And I have bad news. You have good news? Oh, yeah. The good news is that I just shot this, like, sick cross promotion with Zeke from Zeke Collection. The YouTuber who, like, collects a bunch of stuff. He's kind of a weird dude, but we vibe pretty hard. What's the bad news? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think the stars went out. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Hey, Zeke. Chad. Beautiful, smooth brain Chad. Okay, this is starting to make sense. Is it? I thought I would stop collecting constellations once I had captured the zodiac and pinned them to the basement wall like so many beautiful butterflies. Okay, no, I, I take that back. But then you, Chad, brought me to the Adler, so close to the stars, and I realized I had to have the full set. It was destiny. <laughs> destiny. Brad. Zeke, you're saying you have every star in the universe in your basement right now. It's my mom's basement, but she doesn't come down here, so it's really more like an apartment. But yes. <laughs> oh, that's bad. So much mass, so close together, it's gonna go supernova. No, 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 no. That is impossible. You can't even fit one star in a basement. Maybe you can't. <laughs> well, and if all the stars are really far apart and their light maybe can't reach one another or there, there shouldn't be enough energy for an explosion. Oops. I mean, that's how the universe is supposed to end. It's, it's actually called heat death, and it's pretty cool. I hear what you're saying, Lucianne, but it sure looks like Zeke's mom's basement is about to explode the planet. Sick. Shut up, Chandler. 